And I must say, it's always a very pleasant walk to this venue. Craven Cottage by the banks of the Thames. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Fulham facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And taken short. He takes aim. An alert reaction to tip it over. Well, pressure building. Another corner. It's a short one. Has a go. And increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. Short corner favoured. And a no real pressure here. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Keen to take it short here. And he takes on the shot. Making sure it didn't get past him. Excellent assessment of it. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next. And perhaps a goal from this free kick. Well, real quality all around. How about that free kick? And how about the save? Played over. A really intense pressure applied. Mavis! Oh, that's a fine save. Favouring the short one. Unable to trouble the defence with that cross. De Jong. And Palinha with it. They're making high pressing work for them here. And Neymar might take the lead. Oh, it's just over. So unlucky. Well, it's a cheeky attempt, but it just doesn't come down in time. Well, it's been all City in the last 15 minutes or so and have looked great going forward. They just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today. And the flag does go up. Must have been close. Promising looking ball. Well, still an issue here. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. What well, a shot from miles out. Determined defending. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not away completely. Firing it in. Oh, must be. He had to score and he does. Well, just watch this again. He's bright, he's hungry, and he's determined. That's a good finish. 1-0 then. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Giving it a try. Routine for Edison. Frankie de Jong. Leroy Zane. Determined defending. It's a weighted pass. And after the cross, Laporte with the block. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? And there's the delivery. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And the referee's whistle. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half.
Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Has eyes for goal. And that wasn't a million miles away. Almost the equaliser. Well, it's not a bad effort, is it? But they've got to find a way back into this one. And Manchester City will go to their bench. I'm delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Fulham facing Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. And that pass could be troublesome, and they could do damage. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Rhys James. News of a goal at Old Trafford. Let's get the information from Alex Scott. And it's a goal for Newcastle United. No one was marking him. He had too much time. And it was a simple finish in the end. They've scored the open up with 61 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. And he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Sané. Made sure nothing came of that. Chance to cross. Takes on the shorts. Well, in actual fact, it ended up being a simple claim for the keeper. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Manchester City facing Southampton. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? De Bruyne. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. And they will make the change now. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Neymar. And ready for it is Leroy Zane. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Vinicius. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, with five minutes remaining, and, and he's through here. Keeper getting the touch. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. A oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Oh, surely! Well, it's the late show, and they are level again. So back underway, they've leveled it at 1-1 here. And that is that. The And I must say, very agreeable conditions here at the Etihad Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester City, and they take on Southampton. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tap. And he might be through here. Really good diving save. The delivery from Neymar. And cleared off the line. High-class defending right on the goal line. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. A mistake from the keeper. Will it be punished? Textbook defending inside the box. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Frankie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Oh, keeper in control. Well, the crowd can sense the goal's coming. Could this be the moment? And under pressure, that was a fine claim. 
And here's how it looks for Southampton. Mohamed El Yunusi starts with Theo Walcott out wide. And leading the line today is Ollie Watkins. Mares. De Bruyne. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And Southampton will get the throw in. Sometimes we look for an explanation and just can't find one, but the truth of the matter is Liverpool have been well below par. Well, Derek, I expected them to be the team to beat. But well, if you're going to challenge like that, it has to be spot on. What did the referee think of it? And he's been dismissed. This will be a real test of their defensive resilience. Well, he had to go, didn't he? They'll need to reshape their defence quickly here. Well, the free kick fired too close to the goalkeeper. Takes the shot. Well, the keeper committed himself. Corner kick played in. Well, just couldn't quite control the header. And a disappointing effort in the end. Just hearing something has happened at the Emirates. Let's find out what. Here's Alex. It's a goal for Arsenal. The score must be. In it goes. The goal for 1-0. And that changes the dynamic. So underway once more. Manchester City with the advantage. Sané and he did well to cut it out and support available oh what an opportunity and it goes two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here <laughs> 2 nil now and back on the way by very much at all and news from St James's Park there's been a goal there that means we send it over to Alex Scott it's a goal for Everton oh forgive me Alex what an opportunity here and he scored not once but twice they simply cannot stop him and no wonder he's enjoying himself blistering first half display and just look at that score we've had the official word oh he's through here majestic piece of goalkeeping well he loves the big moments doesn't he and he's proved it again there great goalkeeping short corner taken and so no real pressure here half time And the second half underway after what was a sparkling first 45 from City. Can they repeat that in the second 45? Oh, managing to beat him. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Effective challenge. Mares. Try to really get at the opposition here. Oh, it wasn't far away, but above the crossbar. Well, those stats tell the story. City have been really good today. 
Their attacking play has been a joy to watch here. Now let us point you in the direction of Champions League group stage action coming up live here on EA TV. It's Manchester City facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. So making the substitution now. Well, the free kick taken, but saved easily by the keeper. Good-looking sequence. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? And the flag has gone up. Offside. Coming off the pitch, number 32, Theo Walcott, to be replaced by... De Bruyne. Oh, breezing past him. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Genepo. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Joao Cancelo. Return to Neymar. Well, he's just spooned it over the top. And time for the change now. Well, from what I'm hearing, changing circumstances in the Newcastle match. And he's in! Well, without that wanting to put too fine a point on it, that goes down as a tame effort and easy for the keeper. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Southampton facing Wolverhampton Wanderers. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. He'll try his luck here. Well, I gave him the big build-up, but the keeper... Now, what's the keeper playing at? Happy to take on the shot, and fine goalkeeping. A change in the offing for City. It's Neymar's corner. Still a chance. And second time around, he scores! But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets the ball first, and it's a good finish. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the out, might be a chance here. Surely. Oh, football finesse, and it's very best. You can't argue with that finish. Well, here it is again. It's a wonderful pass from Sane. And then the finish is really good. He just dinks it over the keeper. That's an excellent goal. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. The tackle taken away. And that is that full time here and a win for City. Your verdict.